don't you guys just hate it when you're trying to be productive and do something but then your neighbor is cutting the grass right well this time it's like 10 times worse I got two freaking trucks in front of me doing road work or whatever they're doing oh man but that's not gonna stop us from doing what we're gonna do today so today as you know as you guys know if you guys have been following me my last video I actually painted uh, all my body parts like all the parts that I'm gonna be sticking on the car but th okay this was my first uh, attempt to painting with spray can so obviously it's it's the one that came out the worst so I was left behind with some orange peel as you guys can see right now some orange peel and then um, some runs if you guys can see right here Yeah, it's not looking that great, but um, today we're going to be fixing that. So you're going to need a razor blade, one of those single blades. You can find it like for five bucks and you get five of them at any um, store. And then you're going to need some 2000 wet sandpaper. So this has been soaking overnight. So when like, first of all, you're going to go over the runs with the blade, which I will show you. So you can level the paint and then you'll come in with the sandpaper and then um, take a standing block or whatever you guys have a sponge and then go over the whole thing to level out the paint and get rid of the of the orange peel and then we'll come out and put some compound on it polish and then wax and seal it and it should be good for install but yeah if you guys like feel like your paint is looking bad don't worry too much about it because it can be fixed and I will show you guys how to do it now so um, here's the run that I was talking about over here you can catch it in some like in some angles but some other angles you don't you can't and um, there's another one over here another one over here um, yeah so you can see it right here but yeah today all you're gonna do is take your razor blade bend it a little bit like this so that the edges are lifted up higher than the paint surface and then just scrape off all the extra run all the extra runs oh and make sure your paint has been dried for like a couple of like days before you attempt to do this so um as you guys can see i just took out uh, like the ridge like from the run so now the paint is all smooth as you guys can see here. So now it's time to take your sponge or your um, sanding block, wet it a bit, right? And then wet it a bit and then uh, wrap your um, sandpaper around it. And uh, you guys don't want to put too much force on this, just go gently, um, it'll do its job. And whenever you guys start to feel some resistance, just dip it back in the water and you should be good to go. So now I'm just gonna wipe it down and we'll see where we're at. So um, now you guys can see uh, all the like um, little dots in the paint. That means the, the paint is not leveled yet. So you gotta keep sanding through that until it looks like this over here. You guys see how it's like rather smooth? Well, almost. But yeah, I just keep sending till it's very smooth and then, um, yeah. Okay guys, so now that this thing has dried up, um, you're gonna take your dual action polisher or your polisher, whatever you have. And then we're gonna put some compound on first. So just shake it up and then um, put it on your pad. Okay, so just before we start, you guys can see how dull it is, right? It's pretty bad looking. So we're gonna turn that into its shiny state. So 
Hopefully they won't wipe you down. I mean, I know you guys can see the difference right now, so don't even lie. Damn, I, I wasn't expecting it to be that shiny though. What the hell? Look at this, guys. Okay, so this is um before and this is after. Look how shiny this thing is. I can see my own reflection in this. What the hell? Okay, so we are back. Let me do the whole spot. Okay guys, so here you have it, after a good compound, it's looking shiny as hell. It's still kind of uh, hazy because I didn't wipe it down properly, but that should be fixed with some microfiber towel, but yeah. So you guys could stop now if you wanted to and just install it, or you can do what I'm going to do and polish it and wax the hell out of it and then install it so i'm not going to do that on camera but yeah if you guys uh enjoyed the video please make sure to like it and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Peace.